So guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be discussing the 95 rated team of the season, Timo Werner Cad. Now the Bundesliga team of the season came out about, you know, like three out to two or three hours ago and it looks amazing. There are some great cards in it. So in the comments below, let me know which other Bundesliga team of the season players you want to see me do a video on. Also, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome too. Anyway, looking at this Werner card, it looks amazing like the card looks great and the in-game stats look pretty awesome too because we've got plenty of 99 attributes on show he's got a 99 rating for acceleration positioning finishing short passing ball control reactions in-game dribbling of 98 is like nearly perfect 99 head and accuracy too and 97 stamina there are some elite stats on this card there are also some stats that aren't so elite now i want to talk about that 84 composure because this is a 95 rated striker. Surely his composure should be better. 84 composure isn't terrible for, you know, an informed striker, but for a team of the season striker, that is not great in my opinion. It's a shame that his composure is lacking. Anyway, let's get into the in-game clips and let's chat about how this guy performed for me. Now, I was very impressed with him and I thought he was a very effective striker. He's a poacher and he will definitely score you goals. He is very quick on and off the ball and I thought his dribbling was really freaking good. He felt agile, he balanced himself well and he just has really good close control and you'll see him go on plenty of runs in the footage in the background. But when it comes to his shooting, when he's in space, his finishing is amazing. Up there with the best in the game. But if he's closed down and under a bit of pressure, he just isn't as clinical, so unfortunately that composure can affect him. Luckily he's very quick and most of his goals come from breaking away from defenders. Long shots aren't too reliable so I wouldn't be really going for them. Like I say, he's a poacher, get him in space inside the box and he will score goals. He's also an aerial threat, he wins most aerial battles and his hidden accuracy is fantastic. When it comes to passing, I thought his short passing was excellent, long passing and through balls, not so great. But one thing I have to mention is his crossing is pretty good, so you could use him as a wide cam if you really wanted to do so. Physically, like we've already said, he's jumping to class and he does win most aerial battles, which is pleasing. And his stamina is brilliant, so he will last the full game too, which is pleasing. He doesn't have the best strength though, 73 strength, so don't expect him to be, you know, knocking over centre-backs. He'll battle very well with full-backs but not with centre-backs, so do bear that in mind. One thing I almost forgot to mention was this card's positioning. Simply put, it's excellent. He makes great runs and gets himself into space regularly, and if you've got a striker who puts himself in the right positions, goals are almost guaranteed. But overall, this is a very effective card, and it will definitely score you goals. Like I've said, keep him in space, and he will score plenty. But if he's under pressure, he's not going to be as clinical. A um, couple of slight negatives on this card, one being the three star skill moves, that's just a personal thing, I prefer my attackers to have four star skills, and the other being the composure. I think his composure does let him down, considering his rating. Anyway, it's a brilliant card, but is he worth the coins? He's currently costing well over 500k. So um, I have to say, no, he's not worth it, because I've used his 88 and 87 rated man of the match cards, and they are brilliant, and they're less than 100k right now, so with that in mind, you know, I have to say Team of Season Werner is not worth the coins at all. I would just pick up one of the Man of Match cards as things currently stand. But, um, you know, if you've got the coinage to spend, then why not get the Team of Season version? But if you want to get value for money, I'd go for the Man of the Match. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on Team of Season Team of Werner. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. Comment below uh, which other Team of Seasons you want me to try. And I'll um, catch you in the next one.